homelessness has increased. Don't know that it was my fault, but it has increased. <laughs> and we still have people sleeping in railway station tunnels, pitching tents in public parks, squatting in abandoned buildings and reportedly sleeping in motor vehicles because they've nowhere else to go. There's no doubt that we have a dire shortage of affordable housing and that the lack of such housing is a major contributing factor to the cost of living crisis. New South Wales Planning Minister Paul Scully says that Sydney is one of the least affordable cities on the planet and our government says it has a commitment to improve housing affordability. But the private property market, the free market, is clearly not going to achieve that outcome. Yes. Yes. The provision of quality rent controlled public housing built by the government would certainly go a long way to addressing it. This is not a new idea. Over a hundred years ago, in the early years of the last century, the government of the day built public housing. Following the Second World War, our society faced a serious housing shortage. In response, the government built public housing. 26% of homes after the war were built by the government as public housing. In the 1970s, the government was still building public housing. The privatisation of public assets had not been extended to our public housing assets. Some people here will know that arising from the struggle to preserve the historic rocks area of Sydney in the 1970s, an agreement was reached between the RAND government and the Builders Labourers Federation, which had placed a green ban on that area. That agreement was to build public housing for rocks residents who'd been displaced during that ultimately successful battle. Flowing from that agreement, the Sirius building was constructed by the Housing Commission of New South Wales with waterfront views of the harbour, the opera house and the bridge. It contained 79 public housing units ranging in size from one bedroom to four bedrooms. Its design was similar to another public housing block of units of one, two and three bedrooms, also built in the 1970s on a site acquired by the government at St Susie. These developments and many more were designed, planned and built by the government through the Housing Commission with government architects and planners and government employed building workers with nary a private property developer in sight. Yeah. They, they were quality built, unlike some of the privately built, built disasters like mascot towers, and they, and they were rent controlled, thus affordable, with a social mix of residents ranging from single pensioners to sizeable families. And they had security of tenure. Security of tenure is no longer the case for public housing tenants. Some 37 years after residents moved into the Sirius building at the Rocks, they were giving no given notice to quit. They were evicted. They lost the security of their homes that had been built for them 37 years earlier. That building itself was saved with a campaign. Now we can just look at it as a monument to the sort of buildings we used to build as public housing. Uh, but they, the building itself was sold off to the highest bidder. It's no longer available for public housing tenants. Other public housing is being allowed to deteriorate by neglect and then sold off to the private sector, thus reducing publicly owned and rent controlled housing stock at a time of great need. This loss of public stock eliminates the price control restraint that was imposed on the free market, uh, both in terms of purchase price and rental costs by the countervailing effect of, public house, of the public housing sector. Thus, rents and house prices are now at historic highs making both ownership and rental inaccessible, inaccessible for many. 
The government is aware of the need and is proposing higher density, but even leaving aside other problems associated with increased density, this would not of itself ensure the availability of affordable housing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If we're going to increase availability, the government needs to accept responsibility for housing. We we'd need to re-establish pu public sector involvement in the provision and maintenance of public housing. This is no more an extravagant concept than is, than is public health care and public education. Yeah. 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 Housing is no less a basic necessity for a decent life. Our Prime Minister famously uh, and like many people, had the advantage of growing up in publicly owned housing, in a housing commission home. And what it, he was, it was no, it was no more than his mother, uh, than he and his mother deserved. They deserved that opportunity. But we urgently need to reinstate such a start in life as he had, such a human right, for those who increasingly are, are being denied it. Thanks very much. Thank you.